I'm Laura Anderson, and I'm the Global Head of Nutrition at Fonterra. So looking at nutrients alone, plant-based beverages are just not equivalent to cow's milk. As a start, a glass of milk contains more than four times the amount of protein that an oat drink would contain, and over twice the amount of calcium. But then you take into account the high quality protein with all those essential amino acids and all the right amounts, the bioavailability of the nutrients and the fact this is all delivered naturally. From a nutrition perspective, uh, I would say that cow's milk is the clear choice. And naturally is key here because even though you might see some plant-based beverages containing similar amounts of nutrients, in most cases, if not all, that relies on fortification. One thing we do look at when we're comparing plant-based beverages to cow's milk is the carbohydrate content. So most of the carbohydrate found in cow's milk is in the natural occurring form of lactose, whereas in plant-based beverages, it is in the form of maltodextrin, barley, malt extract, and corn syrups. So the impact of these different types of sugars is found in the glycemic index of these products, where plant-based beverages generally have a higher GI compared to cow's milk. So high GI foods are absorbed quickly, whereas lower GI foods are digested much slower, which leads to this more gradual rise in blood sugar levels. We also need to consider bioavailability and absorption. Plant-based foods contain these anti-nutritional factors such as phytate and oxalate, and these can block nutrient absorption. Also, calcium is better absorbed in its natural form found in cow's milk um, than the calcium found in plants, the calcium found in plant-based alternatives, and the calcium found in supplements.